Hi, Stacey. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> the first question is always, what's your background? Okay, so my background, I'm originally from Scottsdale, Arizona, here in the United States. Um, I moved to New York City for college. I attended New York University. I spent one year there. Last year was my freshman year. And then I moved to Los Angeles, California, um, and dropped out of college officially to work on the startup. So your startup, can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, you know, how you come up with the idea and what's, what's the name and what you guys basically do. Definitely. So the name of the startup is MySocialCloud.com. Um, originally, we had the problem of storing usernames and passwords online. My brother and I both had Excel spreadsheets that stored all of our usernames and passwords, and after a fatal computer crash, all of that was gone. And so we decided there had to be a better way to store all of that information, um, and even if you're not at your desktop, you can still have all that information, and it's secure. So we set out to build a website that allows people to store all their usernames and passwords and auto-log into all of their websites at once um, so that you don't have to remember all those usernames and passwords, um, and you can access them from anywhere. And so since we've been building out my social cloud, we've also added another part to it that we think fits along well with this, and that's the storage of everything else online that you love. So you can categorize things into lists. Um, you can store all these websites with articles that you like, videos, photos, um, into like entrepreneurship lists or sport li sports lists, depending on your passions. Um, and then from there, now you can go visit those sites, auto-log into those sites, and see all of those sites and keep them so that you can revisit them. So did you do just... Basically, there was two of you, you and your brother, or you had some, some people in your team? Right. So we've expanded the team, um, and now there's 10 people officially working here. Um, so initially, it was my brother and I, and then our CTO, our chief technology officer. Um, so it was the three of us in the beginning, but now we're lucky to have a great team behind us. Right. We read this story about you and Richard Branson involved. Uh, basically, you tweak it. Or you were tweeted right, and then you managed to go and meet Richard Branson somehow, and then he invested some money in your company. Is that right? Right. Um, so Richard Branson, Branson had a tweet. I was just reading through my feed one day, um, and he sent out a tweet that said, come meet me in Miami. Um, and so I was like, what an amazing experience to be able to go meet him. Um, so I put up the $2,000, and my brother put up 2000 as well. Um, we flew to Miami two days later. Um, we were able to meet him, talk with him. Um, and then a month later, you know, we kept in touch, and he and another man by the name of Jerry Murdoch decided that they would go in um, and invest in my social cloud together. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, you just went there, you meet him up, you managed to charm him somehow, and then he got involved. Yeah, basically. Um, so we went there. It was a long process of talking to him and Jerry, um, talking about our business, what our passion was, um, what the vision for it was, and going through all of that. Um, but it just so happened that, I guess, right right place, right time, right pep preparation, and things were able to happen, and it's amazing. Were you nervous back in that day? Um, it's actually kind of funny because I didn't feel nervous. I think it's one of those things where, you know, you know you only have a certain amount of time, so you're not really even thinking about being nervous. You're thinking about, what am I going to say? Um, and so I think that was more of it. Um, but looking back, I think, you know, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would be super nervous. <laughs> but, I mean, did you prepare in advance? Did you come up with a sort of business plan or anything, you know, to pitch Branson as an investor or it just, you know, happened as, a, as something random? Yeah, it was kind of funny because it wasn't, um, it wasn't something that was like a pitch. Um, it was more of like donate to charity and then come... Like, the perk was you got to talk to him. It wasn't supposed to be a pitch or anything like that. It just so happened that when my brother and I went there, um, and there were about 18 other people at this thing, too, um, that we had been working on my social cloud all summer. And so that's what was in our brains. And so when we went around and he was asking people what they were interested in or doing, um, we were explaining that. And then we were able to get his contact details and stay in touch and keep him updated with the, the progress of it. Right. So once you have this experience, uh, what do you think makes Richard Branson so let me put it, admirable, you know, in terms of, you know, the community of entrepreneurs that do respect him or something. What do you think it is? Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing with him is that he's so 
Um, he's always looking for, you know, the next thing, and he's really an excitable person who, um, he does all these, we always hear these stunts and these crazy things that he's doing, um, and he's always looking to get ahead, do the next thing, be exciting, not be afraid to take a risk, um, and I think people really admire that and like that, and that's something that we certainly admire, my brother and I, um, that he's always just willing to, as his book title is, um, screw business as usual, so you, he can always take those risks and go out and do that. Right, so how, how many people right now are involved uh, in my social club? Yeah, um, so as I said, we have 10 people on our team now, um, and then for how many people we have on our site, we're actually not releasing numbers yet, um, but we're glad to see that it's growing every day, so it's been amazing. Right, and what's your role? I mean, you, you're doing pretty much everything as far as I understand. Yeah, everyone on the team kind of picks up picks up where there's help needed. Um, lately, I've been working a lot on some of these articles that people have been um, and working with getting everything set for next school year. Actually, um, so we have a lot of we have a lot of teachers that are using our service. Um, they create lesson plans and then they categorize things into our lists so that their students can see all the articles and photos and videos about things they're talking about. Um, we're, we have artists that are on board with us that are creating kind of their own profiles and creating lists and curating those with, you know, interests, passions, things that inspire them. Um, so I'm setting up all these people and we're rolling that out. So a lot of that. <laughs> So you said you dropped out from the university. Was it hard to make this decision? Yeah, it was, actually. And I think it was actually harder for my parents more than anything. Um, my brother also dropped out of university, and we're the only two children. And so our parents were a little hesitant. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where we have a really awesome thing that we're doing here, um, and it's really exciting and something we're all really passionate about. And so... Um, I knew that if I want to go back to university when, I, when I'm a little bit older, um, I can always certainly do that. Well, generally, what's your plan for the next, let's say, 10 years? You still want to be involved into the world of business, or maybe doing something else? Definitely. Hopefully, for the next 10 years, I'll be working on my social cloud. So, so my social cloud, how do you guys manage to deliver your message to your potential clients, to those that are going to use it? A lot of it is social media. So, um, as you... The Twitter story that I was telling about Richard Branson, you know, social media has such an impact on people today. Um, so it's really utilizing that. And um, a lot of notice that, you know, if you retweet an article or something like I'll always be there responding and saying thanks so much. Um, and it's having that one-on-one -on -one connection with everyone um, and just keeping them in the, in the loop about what you're doing and telling people, you know, we really are appreciating everything that people are doing. So just keeping them involved and um, telling them that everything that they're doing is helping because it really is. If it wasn't for the business or university or something that, that you did or doing right now, which other career would you like to pursue? Yeah, um, um, so in university I was actually studying music business and music has always been a passion for me and so I always wanted to go on tour as a little girl, that was my, my big dream um, and so that, if I wasn't doing everything else, that is probably something that I would be right now. That's amazing, thanks a lot for this. So Stacey, normally at the end we have a we call it table tennis set of questions when we ask a simple question and then with several options on the end and you have to pick up just one. Okay. Steve Jobs or Bill Gates? Steve Jobs. iPhone, Blackberry or HTC? iPhone. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Going to a party or staying home? Going to a party. <laughs> <laughs> BMW or Mercedes? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, BMW. Fruits and vegetables or fast food? Fruits and vegetables. <laughs> egg or chicken? What came first? Ooh, egg. <laughs> being married or not being married? Being married. God believer or ethics? Ethics. My name is Stacy Ferreira. I co-founded MySocialCloud.com, and this interview is specially for Intuop.